Hello guys and welcome. Today we are going to be doing this prom glam slash any special occasion glam if like me you are not going to go to prom because you are kind of old for that. Um, thinking back to my prom, I was 17 so it was about five or six years ago and I had no idea what to do. I had short hair. I had no idea how to style it. In the end, I think it was just a mess. I think I just gave up and I was like, whatever. Um, <laughs> so I wanted to do a look for short hair and as well as, you know, just a fun prom makeup look. This is more of a vampy makeup look with the dark lip and the brown, black, gold, smoky eye. We also have a deep contour and highlight. We went intense with everything. <laughs> So if you guys like this look, go ahead and keep watching and we will get started with the tutorial. So let's get started. Right now we're gonna do the hair. I'm gonna curl the hair, set the curls, do the makeup, and once we're done with the makeup, we're gonna finish off the hair once those curls are set. So we are gonna take the hair and part it in two. All right guys, so we are gonna take our one inch curler here. We're just gonna take our curler and we're gonna take maybe a one inch piece of hair, one and a half inch. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this curler, point it down, leaving the clamp open on the other side. Carefully, don't burn yourself. We're gonna curl the hair around the wand and then clamp it down. And then I'm holding the ends on the other side here with my hand. Now we're gonna let go of that curl into our hand. And then we're gonna take our bobby pin and we're gonna set that curl into itself. We're just gonna bobby pin that there and it's gonna hang there. We're gonna do that for all of this layer. All right, so now we have the bottom layer curled and pinned. We're gonna move on to the top layer. So since I'm gonna have this large swoop here, what I'm gonna do is take down this whole side and I'm only gonna take down a bit of this side, leaving pretty much the bangs and the top layer in. And we're gonna work on this hair here. All right, so we're gonna comb that through. And just to show you guys how we're curling our hair, we're taking one, one and a half inch sets of hair, and we're just curling that away from our face. So I like to start about here, curl it, and then let go and sort of let it go to the end and then curl it all the way up. Now we're gonna take a bobby pin. I like to just find where the curl ends and just put my thumb through the curl. Work it to the top. And we're gonna bobby pin that down. We're just gonna keep doing that. All right, so on this next side, since it's the top of our hair, I'm gonna curl this a little bit differently just so that it has a different shape. I'm gonna take my curler, and what we're gonna do is we're going to continue to curl this away from the face, but we are going to take our curler, open it up so the clamp is open, then we're just gonna curl the hair around the wand and clamp it down. So we're gonna hold that for 15 to 20 seconds like we have been. See how we have a different kind of curl here? That's gonna work better for our top layer. So again, just taking a bobby pin. For this last bit of bang here, we're gonna curl that into the face. So again, we're gonna start in the back, take a bit of hair, and we're gonna curl that into the wand. For this last section, I'm just curling it regularly. Alright, so now we're going to take our bangs, and instead of curling that away from the face like we usually do, I'm going to curl that into the face. We're going to take that pretty close to the hairline, 
because we want a big curl here. All right, so now that we have our hair set, I'm gonna start on the eye makeup. So I'm gonna use tape for today's makeup just to make sure we have a really crisp line for all makeup that we're gonna use. Next, I'm gonna go in with my primer, the Pore Professionals Primer from Benefit. I use this pretty much every time I do my makeup because I have large pores. Okay, so now that we're done with that, we are gonna get into our Tartlet palette. We are going to get into this top color here, which is Free Spirit. We're going to put that all over the lid and focus most of the product underneath the brow. Alright, so now using our fluffy brush, we are going to get into our transition shade. I'm going to use the color Orange Soda from Anastasia Beverly Hills as my transition shade. Alright, now that our transition shade is done, we are going to take the color Burnt Orange and we're going to put that deeper into the crease. I'm going to use the same fluffy brush, I'm just going to change the angle in which I apply this. So instead of pointing up like we would with a transition shade, we're going to point this down into the crease. Alright, so now that that Burnt Orange color is in, we are going to take our final color on this dual ended Naked 3 brush. It's just a brush that comes with the Naked 3 palette. We're gonna take this brush into Red Earth from Anastasia Beverly Hills. We're gonna put this first in as the V shape. We're really gonna pack this color on. And then using the other end of the brush, we're just going to blend that in. Now getting back into our fluffy brush, we're going to pick up that burnt orange color again, just a tiny bit on the end, and we're just going to blend those colors. Okay, so for our lid color, we're going to use this color here. It is the color Eternal Sunshine. It is from L'Oreal. I'm going to put this on a small, tiny little buffer brush. I'm going to spray that brush with some MAC Fix Plus. Taking a really good amount of eyeshadow on the brush, we are just going to apply this onto the lid. Alright, now going into our last color, I'm going to take that same dual-ended brush from the Naked 3 palette and I'm going to go into the color Fashionista from the Tartlet palette. So I'm going to take the smallest amount of black and I'm going to go into the V-shape and really get that blended out. Taking the other end, we're just going to blend that in just a tiny bit into the crease and into the gold eyeshadow. And now going back with our fluffy brush, we're going to take some red earth and we're just going to blend those, the black and the red earth together. I'm going to use my NYC liquid eyeliner and I like to take most of the product off and put it sort of around the opening here and that way we just have a small amount of product and then we're gonna go really thin into our wing alright so I cleaned the wings up just a little bit but now we have the lids done and the eyeliner done. Now we are going to get into our trusty eyelash curler. We're just going to curl our lashes and we're just going to get our lashes ready for fake lashes. So I'm going to use my favorite mascara that is the Lash Sensational Mascara from Maybelline and I'm just going to coat my lashes with this. Alright and now that we have our lashes coated I'm going to go in with my false lashes. 
for today's lashes, I'm going to use the House of Lashes Boudoir. I'm going to try these lashes out. I'm going to apply them off camera and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so now that we have our lashes on, we are going to move on to the rest of the face. Since prom is a long event where you are dancing and you get hot and you get sweaty, you want to make sure that your foundation is going to stay in place. So today I'm going to use the L'Oreal 24 Hour Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I'm going to use this buffer brush from BH Cosmetics. I'm going to spray it a little bit with the MAC Fix Plus. And then taking that into the foundation, I'm just going to dot it along and then blend. So I'm really building this foundation because I do want to make sure that the coverage is good on our face since it's a longer night. Next, I'm going to take some concealer on this concealer brush and I'm going to clean up the wing. This is really going to sharpen it up. And next, I'm going to take that concealer under the eyes. We're also going to add it to the forehead, down the nose, and on the chin. Now using a damp beauty blender, we're just going to blend that out. Here under the wing where we put the Concealer. I'm actually going to use my ring finger and I'm going to blend that out. Now that our concealer is blended out, I'm going to take the NYX HD Finishing Powder in the color Banana. Using my e.l.f. brush, I'm just going to dip into that and I'm going to set that concealer under the eyes. I'm also going to take that to the nose and the forehead and chin where we applied concealer. And just to make sure that that concealer really stays on for the rest of the night, we are going to bake. So I'm going to take my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm going to dip my beauty sponge into this. Getting some of that product on my beauty sponge, I'm just going to concentrate this below the eyes. We're just going to pack that on. We're also going to pack it on just a little bit, whatever's left over on the forehead and the nose, as well as the chin. So I'm going to go in with the new brush that I got. This is the e.l.f. contouring brush. It's just a flat brush and that way you can really make sure you get into the hollows of your cheeks. So $6 for this brush does not sound bad at all. I'm also going to go in with my e.l.f. bronzer palette. This was also $6. So if you're looking for a cheaper alternative to a bronzer palette, this is a perfect choice because it's a great palette and it's only 6 bucks. So 6 bucks for this brush and then 6 bucks for the palette deals. So while we wait for our bake to set, I'm going to get into our contour palette. I'm going to take the two matte shades, tapping off the excess, we are going to find the hollows of our cheekbones and just apply this in the hollows. This is my first time using the brush. I'm going to assume that we push it in then pull up to blend. So now that we have the contour in, I'm going to take a flat angled brush and I'm going to get into these sparkly shades and I'm just going to blend that contour out and bronze up the skin. We're also going to take those shades into the temples. We're going to take them onto the chin. I'm going to contour my nose with this just a little bit. Alright, now we're going to brush off whatever product hasn't been brushed off already. Now I'm just going to take some banana powder. I'm just going to clean up that contour just a bit. Alright, so the contour is done. For blush, I'm going to go in with this Milani Baked Blush in the color Luminoso. It's a peachy sort of blush color. I'm just going to take this above where we put the contour. And now using a stippling brush from Morphe, I'm going to go in and blend the blush and the contour together. Alrighty, so now we're going to move on to highlight. Today I'm going to use the What's Up highlight. I'm just going to apply this on the highest points of our cheek and then I'm going to blend it out with my ring finger. 
And now using my beauty sponge, I'm just gonna blend that out more. I also took that same highlight and I put it down the nose and in the inner corner highlight. Since it is a cream base, I'm gonna set that highlight with my Becca Cosmetics highlight in opal. I'm gonna take it on a fan brush and I'm just going to sweep some in the highest points of my face. So we're gonna finish off the eyes. I'm gonna go in with that same red earth color on that same little brush. And I'm gonna put this underneath the eyes. Taking this fluffer brush, I'm gonna use some of the orange soda on the tip just to blend that out. Now to open up the eye, since we did use a lot of dark product, I'm gonna use the NYX Wonder Pencil. I'm gonna put that in the waterline. And we're gonna go into the bottom lash line with the Telescopic Mascara. Alrighty, so lastly we're gonna go into lips. We're gonna go in with the lip pencil from Rimmel. This is in Wine. And then I'm gonna go in with the lipstick in Diva from MAC. Now I'm going to take all of the bobby pins out of my hair and I will be right back. All right, so I'm sorry, my camera ended up dying for a little bit there, but I took all of my hair out. Also, while I was waiting for my camera to charge, I did take the lashes off, cut them a bit more just so that they were less into the inner corner because when your lashes are really deep in there, then you can feel it the whole night and then you have to worry about bringing lash glue. If you cut your lashes so that your lashes end maybe just like in the middle, it makes it a lot easier to wear lashes for the rest of the night. Now all we're going to do with this hairstyle is just tease it and shape it to how we want to. I'm going to use the Tresemme Perfectly Undone Natural Movement Hairspray. This is just going to make sure that our hair sets. So I'm just gonna tease the top here. I'm also gonna take my bangs and I'm just gonna tease that at the bottom. Gonna add some hairspray. We're really gonna tease this area here. You just wanna shape your hair. It's almost like Marilyn Monroe hair. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. Tease, spray, shape. Now that our bangs are sort of shaped, we're gonna take these curls and we're gonna tease those as well. That way, we're gonna run our fingers through it first though, because we wanna get rid of a lot of this curl. So our hair is short, we don't wanna to go too crazy, but we do want to just thicken that up a bit. I'm gonna tease like this back area. All right, and now we are just gonna spray that to make sure it lasts. And you know what, using a bobby pin, we're just gonna pin this side. All right, and that is the end of the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this prom glam. And I hope you guys have a great time at prom. If you're not going to prom, you can use this for any other kind of special occasion. It doesn't have to be just prom. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.